A color space defines the size and number of colors that are available to display an image. A device's capability to display colors is called its gamut. And so the larger the gamut, the more realistic and true to life an image will look on screen or on paper. Now you can think of color spaces as predefined gamuts. I like to use the analogy of a crayon box. The more crayons in a box, the bigger your crayon box, the larger the gamut that is available to use. Now there are three major color spaces, or crayon boxes if you will, uh, that you need to be familiar with. The first and the smallest is the sRGB color space, which is used mostly for the internet. Uh, the second largest is Adobe 98, mostly used for commercial printing, and the largest color space is called Pro Photo RGB, and it's the largest space available today and the only one that's capable of holding most of the colors captured by your camera sensor. Now, what's important to know for accurate colors to make sure that all of the software that you use is set to the same color space so you don't lose any colors unnecessarily. I recommend using Pro Photo RGB color space until you need to compress the colors for output, such as for printing. Papers have a smaller gamut than Pro Photo RGB, so that's the time to compress the colors, not before. Similarly, you can buy a wide gamut monitor which shows more colors than, the, than standard monitors like sRGB. Now, even if you can't see or print all of the colors that are contained in your files, having more color information means you can be more aggressive with your processing if you need to be, and not worry about artifacts like banding or uh, uneven gradations, for example. Plus, I'm sure technology will bring improvements to monitors, to printers, to papers in the future. And so using a larger color space like Pro Photo RGB now is a smart way to preserve all of the colors your camera captures without any compromises.